The world is stunned to discover that prehistoric creatures exist in the 20th century. Yutaka Omura from Tokyo, reporting that the situation is grim. Evacuation plans are being prepared. People should have small, light baggage ready. Please remain calm. The Japanese Navy is filling the various harbors with evacuation craft, and we now wait to see in which direction Godzilla will strike next. But our latest reports show that Godzilla has disappeared. Keeping this in mind, do you still believe he will attack Japan? I do. Being amphibian, Godzilla is probably lurking in the ocean depths off Japan, where the depths go to about 20,000 fathoms. He could be puzzled at the changes that have taken place during his long sleep. But I have no doubt that when he decides to return to land, he'll select Japan. Nature has a way sometimes of reminding man of just how small he is. She occasionally throws up the terrible offsprings of our pride and carelessness. 
to remind us of how puny we really are in the face of a tornado, an earthquake, or a Godzilla. The reckless ambitions of man are often dwarfed by their dangerous consequences. For now, Godzilla, that strangely innocent and tragic monster, has gone to Earth. Whether he returns or not, or is never again seen by human eyes, the things he has taught us remain. <laughs>